What does fasting do to your brain? We have been made to believe that the average human should consume three meals a day, plus snacks and drinks. But the truth is that this amount of food is not necessary to maintain a healthy body and mind. Food companies and pharmaceutical industries push for excessive food consumption in order to make an ever-growing profit. The bottom line is that healthy people who exercise and engage in fasting are not profitable enough for these billion dollar companies. The sad reality is that many people today lack self-control and do not eat out of hunger but purely for the comfort and enjoyment of food. This has sparked a rise in obesity and many other diseases. The Prophet, peace be upon him, emphasized the habit of eating less as a method of preventing sickness and disease. He said, nothing is worse than a person who fills his stomach. It should be enough for the son of Adam to have a few bites to satisfy his hunger. If he wishes more, it should be one third for his food one-third for his liquids, and one-third for his breath. Effects of Fasting on the Brain Professor Mark Matson at John Hopkins University, Chief of the Laboratory of Neuroscience with the National Institute on Aging. He has published a number of papers that can explain how fasting two times a week can reduce the chances of developing Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease, which are on the rise. We've known for quite some time that alterations to one's diet impacts brain functionality. Neuroscientists have found that overfed brains are more likely to become impaired. Matson reports that fasting causes an array of neurochemical alterations in the brain. Abstaining from food boosts cognitive function, decreases inflammation, and helps one cope with stress. Fasting is the equivalent of issuing a challenge to one's brain. The brain responds by modifying stress pathways and consequently reducing the risk for various diseases. A person who fasts empowers his brain to boost its protein production and catalyze the growth of neurons and bonds between neurons. Memory ability and learning aptitude increase in response to fasting as it stimulates the creation of ketones and mitochondria in neurons slash nerve cells. Fasting even bolsters the fortitude of synapses. In some instances, fasting helps create new nerve cells from the hippocampus's stem cells. Fasting for DNA repair. Professor Matson has also found that those who practice fasting are more likely to enjoy enhanced nerve cells that repair DNA. Fasting can protect the immune system as refraining from food consumption helps stem cells self-renew from a dormant state. Fasting essentially destroys old, compromised immune cells and catalyzes stem cells to form a brand new, perfectly healthy cells. In 2007, a scientific review of studies centered on fasting was printed in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. The review determined that fasting is an effective means of reducing cancer as well as cardiovascular disease. The article also provided evidence that fasting has the potential to treat diabetes. It is clear that fasting boosts the brain's health and functionality as well as the integrity of the cells throughout the body. The problem? You'll most likely never hear about any studies performed by the pharmaceutical industries or any food companies regarding the merits of fasting. Their agenda is clear. Encourage human beings to overeat and sell them pharmaceuticals to alleviate the negative consequences of such a gluttonous diet. However, you do not have to eat three square meals each and every day. You have the power to read about the benefits of fasting and incorporate this knowledge into your everyday life. To conclude, as time goes on, science will continue to uncover information that supports the Muslim way of life. Professor Mark Matson mentioned some powerful life-changing benefits that come from fasting twice a week but fasting twice a week is not a new thing for Muslims. The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to fast on Mondays and Thursdays every week outside the month of Ramadan. This sunnah is still practiced by millions of Muslims all over the world who continue to benefit in ways they didn't even know. <laughs>